Mooney was a little bit different. I needed a tug for the Mooney. The grade going into the hangar was pretty steep and pushing the 2,000 pound aircraft was a lot of work. I was looking online for tugs to buy and I thought, well, they look simple enough to actually make one. So might as well have a little bit of fun and build it yourself. So this is a DIY tug. Here's the pieces that we're gonna be using today to build this tug. We have a wheel, a 24 volt, 350 watt motor, a motor controller, a throttle switch, two 12 volt batteries, and then a couple of pieces of half an inch uh, steel tube. They're 48 inches long and then one, one quarter of an inch steel tube. And then we have over here a pipe for the uh, nose gear. There's a couple of additional pieces that aren't here. We'll see them later. Let's get to it. So the idea here is on the steel pipe, we'll do these 45 degree cuts, leave a lip on the other side, again 45 degree cuts, and then I'm gonna bend the metal form a 90 degree angle. I'm going to do that same thing on this end. So lip over here, 45 degree cut, 45 degree, and then this get, will get bent. So what will happen is this will become a 40, uh, 24 inch segment, a 10 inch segment um, turned around, and then I'll take one more steel pipe and create the other side of this kind of rectangular frame. Um, and then around that rectangular frame, there's going to be some stiffener bars um, for the motor. So let's start cutting. So the next step is to take this and bend it, do a 90 degree bend on it. Same thing on this one, a 90 degree bend. And then we can bend this whole piece, same thing on over here and on over here. Now the other piece, or just one 20, uh, 45 degree angle cut, and then take that corner piece off from there. And this will be a 24 inch long beam. So next, done a 90 degree angle here, measured it, that it's, it's square, and I'm gonna draw some or drill some holes over here and then uh, put some sheet metal screws that I've got here into those holes. Alright, next I'm gonna take the angle grinder and I'm gonna cut these pieces out. That way I can put another metal uh, tube over here. Um, inside to stiffen this and also that I can mount then the motor on those pieces. So next what I need to build is the fork piece that's going to extend out from here. I have to build an angle into it and then the nose gear uh, fork will get attached to it. So this next piece, I'm gonna do some angled cuts, leave a lip over here so that when I bend it over, I'll be able to attach the lip over here.
Okay, so this is the fork piece. I've drew, drawn 45 degree angle cuts over here. So what will happen is when I turn that in, it'll form a 90 degree angle. So I'll get two 90 degree angles out of this fork piece. And then this piece over here, I'm gonna cut a hole in between and it will fit inside there. And that becomes that fork. Have our fork and it's uh, attached to the points. Next thing is I need to draw, drill some holes, one inch holes for the 7 8 pipe that will go on both sides that will then attach to the nose strut. That's it. Same thing on the other side. The fork is on and it's been uh, screwed down and then I've made a hole there for the tilt system which will get locked also somewhat in place. It'll have a little bit of movement but not a whole lot. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take these pillow boxes and screw them to the underneath like so on both sides. So we'll make some holes there which will allow us to put the pillow boxes, bolt them down with bolts, and then put the axle in here with the wheel. All right, so we've made some progress here. We've added a, a handlebar, and the tube will go inside there. Uh, made some supports here so that it's, it's stout. Pre-mounted the motor here. I'm gonna draw hole placements over here and uh, then drill in the holes and then mount the motor. So I wire brushed it and then sanded down and now I'm putting down a primer a couple of coats of primer and then after that paint it. All right, so we made good progress over here. The frame's kind of done. I 3D printed some battery holders. Um, put the batteries in there to just test it out. The motor controller has a spot in the middle. Um, the motor has been mounted. The wheel has been mounted. Um, connected to the pillow boxes in the bottom there. Don't have a chain there yet. Um, I'm getting a smaller sprocket, so that's gonna get swapped out. Um, and then for the front forks, I have a linear motor here that I need to wire in and put some cables in um, to actuate the nose gear um, holes or whatever you wanna call them. Uh, got the rest of the, the handle assembly on, 3D printed also a case over here. So I have no idea if it was gonna work. Um, I just watched actually a couple of other YouTube videos on some other folks doing this and it seemed to work for them. So I thought, might as well work for me. I mean, in terms of motor and batteries and everything kind of hooking together and it actually being able to push the Mooney. So I took a little bit of a leap of faith of doing that, but it worked out really well. Um, I think this is gonna help a whole lot. So nice little tug. Hope you enjoyed the video and See you on the next one.